Good morning, people. It is vlog 433, head south on Pacific Coast Highway. It's about 8.30 in the morning. Today, I am glorified errand boy for Kathy. So I'm basically gonna go down to Santa Monica and get some supplies that she needs for her mermaid. What else is new? Got a bunch of other stuff I gotta get for her. A variety of different places I gotta go. I'm gonna make that trip as quick as possible because she needs this stuff back there by about 10.30. So traffic or not, doesn't matter. Good to go. I got the casting plaster. This is what Kathy's gonna be using today to put on top of the mermaid. It's about a 100 pound bag. And now I gotta head over to Blick Art Supplies to get some water clay. Uh, they need that pretty quick. pounds, 100 pounds, good to go. California incline coming out of Santa Monica down on the Pacific Coast Highway has been closed for the past year or maybe more redoing it because it was falling apart. It's finally open. Check this out. dropped off everything back at the pad. Gotta run back up into town, get some lunch materials, a few other items for Kathy. Still going. Everything we need for awesome sandwiches.
Now we're making the outer shell on top of the silicone. And we had to divide that in half because this is rigid. So we'll, we'll do two on this side. Oh, I'm just cleaning up this edge right here. The half of the blaster mold to give it strength. And then we're gonna continue it over. We the, took off the clay. Yeah, there's clay there. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's good. I have an idea. I'm gonna take this hat and I'm gonna do something with this on this hat. And I'm being inspired by this. This is a, a uh, plaster cast, something we did quite a long time ago, having to, do, having to do with Kathy's soaps. And this was one of the casts. I'm not sure if Kathy sculpted this or if our friend Mike sculpted it. I think Kathy did. But I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna apply it to this and I'll show you what it looks like tomorrow. One step closer on the mermaid. Uh, amazing steps. These guys are working their tails off uh, all day long. I don't know, easily six, seven hours out there. Adding the plaster mold on the, the, the front. Kathy's gotta go on the back and she's gotta clean up some of the, some of the clay and then uh, she's gonna do that tomorrow. And then over the weekend, they're gonna be putting the plaster on the back side, the mold on the back side. We're getting one step closer. It's a very big deal. But when it's done, I have a plan. I have a very serious plan. What that plan is will be revealed, but just know it's a serious plan. Why is it that you lose yourself in, cre in the creative process? Why is it that, that some things are drudgery and it takes like a minute to do, and then some things you can work on for six hours and you lose time altogether? Well, there's an easy answer, and the answer is love. The answer is love, the answer is love. Did I mention the answer is love? That's the answer. And the reason that that's the answer is that when you love something, when you put your energy into it, and you're excited about it, you lose time. Time stands still. Uh, you can go on for hours and hours playing music, doing art, sculpting, uh, doing that stuff that you love. And that's the stuff that is the message that comes to you to follow. That's how important this is. And that's the vlog for me. The reason that I do the vlog is because I love this. I lose myself in time. I get to hang out with my friends. I get to go and do amazing things. I get to show you guys stuff. It's a creative process. And that creative process, I'm completely addicted to. Now the question is, what is your creative process? What is your creative process? Uh, that's a, a question you need to pose to yourself because everybody's creative despite the fact that you may think you're not. You are creative. We all have the same mind. We all have access to the same stuff. You just have to decide that you want to do stuff. It could be, it could be macrame. It could be, I can't believe I even said that, it could be collecting baseball cards. It can be uh, painting. It can be sculpting. It can be any kind of thing that you can imagine. Anything that you love that you get into. But you got to find that thing for yourself because that's an outlet. It could be sports. It could be surfing. It could be skiing. It could be any number of things. Suddenly something happens when you pour yourself into this thing. It starts to grow. It starts to expand. And that's what happens. And that's the great rule is the way you give your attention to grows, advances, expands. And that's the lesson we all need to learn. If you give your attention to hate, then hate grows. If you give your attention to love, then love grows. It's an easy choice, but you have to be aware that you're making the choice. And there's the caveat. Always choose cool and you get cool. There it is. So I'm gonna coolify my hat. I'll show you guys that tomorrow. We are one day closer to the Corvair show happening on Saturday. Also, the AMC show at the Automobile Drive Museum. I'm stoked, I can't wait to do it. This is vlog 433. Peace out, we will see you tomorrow and more mermaid stuff a coming. Oh yes!